Hello and welcome to Hello Tooth. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Exception, the new psychological Danish thriller uh, directed by Jesper Nielsen. Let's have a quick look at the trailer. Mener du, at de andre er efter dig? Nej. The story of the exception really revolves around four women that work in an NGO organization in Copenhagen in Denmark. The four characters are Eben, Melena, Annalisa and Camilla. Eben is played by Denise Kerchich, Amanda Collin plays Melena, Sidsa Babbitt Knutson plays Annalisa, who you might know from Borgen, and Lena Maria Christensen plays Camilla. The film itself is quite an interesting take on the psychological trauma that can exist between sort of like office politics and office dynamics. And obviously, you know, the, the, the work that they do with the organisation is quite, you know, dangerous work as such, you know, them dealing with genocide in, in third world countries where there's these other regimes. Eben suffers from PTSD, having escaped a hostage crisis in Africa, so she's very much kind of going through the motions with that, and uh, that is basically making her kind of see things and have hallucinations about her trauma back there. Um, Milena is suffering from ongoing arthritis, which doesn't really kind of help her. She, you know, there's one opening line which basically says she's kind of not happy about seeing healthy people anymore, and, and that kind of really kind of defines her character. I'll say that Milena is seen as the kind of most vindictive woman out of the four characters. Annalisa is essentially the victim of the other three, and uh, and, and Camilla, whose you know quiet nature is also quite deemed to be quite sheepish and kind of the bit of the follower of the group, actually has more secrets under her belt than is first actually realised. What's interesting about the work of the organisation is that Eben's writing this paper on the idea of evil and how evil is inherent in all of us, and uh, that kind of aligns with the idea that they're trying to get rid of genocide in certain countries. Now the organisation deals with certain regimes and there's the talk of a particular Serbian war criminal that gets involved with the proceedings, um, and that kind of comes into play later on in the film. But the interesting parallel is that, you know, with this idea of evil being inherent in all of us, you see the, the, the kind of political machinations that happen within the office and within the dynamic of the women. One day, uh, Eben and Milena um, get two threatening emails who they believe are possibly from a Serbian war criminal. They start to suspect each other and they kind of wonder, like, actually, what, where are these emails coming from? Are they, are, they, are they kind of actually coming from internally? Are they coming from one of the ladies in the group? And, but ultimately, the paranoia and the friction that happens in the office makes them start to believe that Annalisa may be responsible for the emails. It all becomes a bit of a psychological kind of Hitchcockian kind of thriller, essentially. What I like about the exception is that uh, the four main leads are really, really good in their roles, and that kind of acting and performance and the, the kind of interplay between the four characters are done really well. There's no question that the director, Jesper Nielsen, would have had a hand in pulling out these performances as well, but essentially, you know, the acting of the four characters is great. The cinematography by Eric Zappon is really, really spot on. Uh, he frames the library and the claustrophobia within the library around the four characters really, really well, and uh, every angle is kind of really thought about, and the shots are really just beautiful to watch. So I'm going to give the exception four out of five, because while the performances are really good by the four leads, uh, the cinematography is great and the direction is really good, the, the problem with the premise of the film is that even though it's a psychological thriller, it can quickly descended to possibly kind of taking you down the wrong route. Um, I think that if I'd read Christian Jungens' book it probably would be more palatable and I'd probably understand it better but I think it's worth checking out this film because purely the performances of the four leads. The exception will be released on all major UK digital platforms from 22nd of January including iTunes, Apple TV, Sky Store, Google Play, Amazon, Virgin, Curzon Home Cinema and Chile and on rental from BT from the 1st of Feb. Thanks for watching my view on The Exception. It is a really good film. I do think it's worth seeing for the performances alone uh, and will be an interesting sort of like um, addition to psychological Scandi noir stroke thriller dramas. So if you like that kind of thing, it's worth checking out. If you like that review, please uh, hit that like button, do subscribe. And if you'd like to see more video content, if you'd like to click here and uh, yeah, do leave some comments, it'd be great to hear from you. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon.